I made a video a while ago on how to work with two launchpads at the same time. In a situation where you have a sender launchpad and a receiver launchpad and you want to debug them at the same time, it's nice to have two debug sessions on the same computer and be able to talk to each of them separately. Uh, one of the tricks that I've done was give each launchpad a color and then also color code your Code Composer Studio session. So this one is slightly purple, this one is slightly red, just the same as what you see on the, on the launchpads. Uh, this setup allows you to debug both launchpads and to program both launchpads at the same time, but it has a side effect. Hey, and that side effect is the following. Whenever you start Composer Studio and you follow the instructions of my previous video, it will always prompt you for the workspace when you start it. And you can choose for the original workspace that you had before the exercise and then a separate for uh, transmit and receive. But if you don't want Code Composer Studio to prompt you for the workspace every time, if you just want to keep on working like in the past, that is possible. The only thing you have to do is select your original workspace and say use this as the default and do not ask again. And from now on, when you click your Code Composer Studio uh, shortcut, it will always behave like in the past. It will always open your generic uh, Code Composer Studio session and your original workspace. And if you want to keep on using your two launchpads at the same time and you want to have that separate session for the transmit and receive launchpad and the ability to debug both of them, that's possible. The only thing we have to do is make a copy of this icon of Code Composer Studio. So I say copy here. I change the properties and I put behind the target, I put minus data and then the location of one of the two workspaces. Let's take the transmit workspace. Voila. I press OK. And I replace the word copy with TX, so I know that this is the TX session. I'll do this once more, make a copy, replace the name with RX, rename the target to also point to the RX workspace. There we go. And we have everything like was originally, so we can start a normal Code Composer Studio with this icon. If I press the TX icon, it will open my transmit session and you will see that that is the session with the red background. It nicely opened the correct workspace with the correct colors and the correct project. I press the RX button and it should open the bluish Code Composer Studio with my receive uh, projects. Okay, and it did that too. And that's what I wanted to show, that it is possible to restore the original functionality and that you always have your normal Code Composer Studio session if you press your normal usual icon and that you can create two shortcuts that both point to a different workspace, one for transmit, one for receive.